even though globalization means that people are able to keep up their domestic consumption, globalization can also lead to outsourcing, which could be both a positive and negative aspect of globalization. But for this uh, part of the presentation, we will be looking at it as a negative aspect. This is because outsourcing can lead to poverty, unemployment, loss of income, as well as loss of competitive advantage. This means that people will have to go without financial support and employment, especially in developing countries, since in developing countries the economy is already lower since the living standard isn't as high as in developed countries. My evidence for this is that Australia is a country which outsources to Indonesia for Indonesia to uh, create products than which Australia will sell and make their own economy stronger with. This means that both the population in Australia and Indonesia will suffer because of the outsourcing. For example, because of the labor costs are lower in Indonesia than what they are in Australia, the workers in Indonesia will not be treated as well. This is also because it's a developing country and the economy, the overall economy of the country isn't as good. This also results in the lower standard of living because the people don't get the money which they well should deserve if it were to be uh, the same conditions in a developed country. And it also leads to inequality in the job space due to too long hours worked and the inequality between the genders. This in its own turn, of course, leads to a lower human development in developing countries like Indonesia rather than in developed countries like Australia. This could also be negative for Australia, though, since the un unemployment rate increases, which in the long term could create a lower standard of living if no other types of jobs are created to substitute the ones that the Australians have lost to the Indonesians. But overall, since Australia is a more developed country, well, it will, yeah, it's a developed country, uh, this means that the human development should be more successful and stronger in such a country. Also, as seen on the Gapminder graph on the slideshow, Australia has a far better income for the people which live in extreme poverty, which means that even though both the countries do have an extreme poverty, which is then could be possibly an outcome of outsourcing, uh, Australia, Australia has a far better human development for people who are in extreme poverty due to a better economy than Indonesia, which then has a higher level of people which are then on the lower side of the uh, population when it comes to the income. So, yes.